Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, this is probably, un well, I'm falling over the bed. This is probably unexpected for a lot of you, but today I'm moving, probably unexpected for most of you, because I think I only told my close friends. I didn't really want to announce it because I've announced it before and it was delayed because I've been having issues. Hold on, let me put this up. It was delayed because I've been having some personal problems, so. Now, finally, it's the day. I didn't want to post this video or even tell you guys I was moving until I actually moved because I wanted to make sure it was set in stone. So, um, today's the day we're moving. Today's the day I'm moving with all the pets. It's gonna be fun, but we have a little dilemma. My phone keeps falling. Texted my landlord this morning and asked him for the keys. Like, I said, okay, so, like, did everything go through? Are we set to go? Can I pick up the keys? He said, sure. You know, you have to text this guy and he'll give them to you. It's um, another guy who's in my apartment. I just been waiting on this guy to answer me and then we can get the ball rolling. I'm probably gonna call him after this instead of texting because it's taking a while to text. And I had everything planned today and now it's all getting pushed back, which can't happen because I have a lot of tanks, I have a lot of pets and everybody needs to get situated and I wanted to do this all today, so. Let's get into it. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am kind of nervous only because like this is the first time I'm moving into a place alone, like my my own apartment. This, I won't really call this an apartment because it's like an off-campus housing. I'm with roommates and we all share a kitchen. But now I'm moving into my own studio, kitchen, bathroom. Like <laughs> this is a big responsibility and I'm all alone now. So it's just like, like I'm kind of scared, but I think I have it. Besides the point, here is the agenda for today. So first I have to mail a package for Mercari and then I was gonna go to the apartment and check to see if the gas and the wall, no, the gas and the electric are on and just check everything out, make sure everything's good. And then me and my friends are gonna go to my mom's to help break down the tanks and transport the animals in all the tanks and whatever furniture I have. But the thing is, this isn't really like gonna be an extravagant moving vlog. You're not gonna see the finished product today. Literally, I'm moving in with like bare minimum because I don't have anything. My mom's also moving out of the house she's living in now, mid-April, so like, everything's a hot mess. Everything is just so, I I don't have, just, I don't have anything. I don't have any furniture. So I literally ordered a blow up mattress from Amazon until I can get a bed like an actual bed. Yeah, so I really don't have much furniture to move. It's just mainly the tanks. I have like a coffee table I bought at my mom's house and I never built it. So I'm gonna build that today too. I'm just gonna build mainly what I have. I'm gonna save the furniture and stuff. I'll do a part two of this moving vlog because I'm gonna go out sometime soon and get all the furniture I need, but I wasn't intending to get the furniture today. But when that day comes, I'm gonna film it and that's gonna be the part two of the moving vlog. But this is mainly me getting in there, showing you guys the house, showing like what everything's gonna be about introducing you guys to like my friends and stuff but um yeah so this should be fun so let's go get this package shipped because it should have been shipped a while ago okay guys so i just got in the place um i'm going to show you guys around so this is the entryway then it goes right up the steps when you first come up here i'm just going to start from over this way no actually i'll just show you like the whole thing since it is a studio Sorry, I'm like really out of breath. This one is a washer and dryer hookup and also a closet. I'm probably not gonna get a washer and dryer hookup. Out here is a balcony, but um, there's an abandoned house back here, so I won't be doing many social gatherings. So then you come over here and this is the kitchen. Pretty self-explanatory. And then you come over here and this is like, I guess the living slash bedroom area. And this is where I'm gonna put the bed and everything. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna set it up, but this is the living area. This room is also a closet. No, this is not a closet. This is the water heater. This room is also a closet and it's big. And then over here is the bathroom. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is Raekwon and this is <laughs> Lucky and they're gonna be helping me move today. I'm gonna be switching over to my Canon camera and Raekwon's really good with videography, so he's gonna be recording most of the stuff. And I'm good with the muscles. And Lucky's good with the muscles and moving, so he's gonna be helping me with that. So let's get into it.
Moving day. Shout out my boy at scene six five K. What's your Instagram? Follow me on the gram at scene dot six five K. It should be in the link in the description somewhere right here. I don't know. <laughs> have everything from my apartment in here just some little leftover stuff but I have until the end of April to get it anyway so I basically just brought here what I needed for my apartment which was like kitchen stuff bathroom stuff I have some of my clothes this is my closet that I'm really proud of and then um lucky lucky Emory help me bring everything up and um, we're about to go do the actual hard part which is bringing in all the tanks which is a Hassle. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. We're about to go to my mom's and I'll be filming that as well And this is basically where the crazy stuff happens Titties. So I wanted to make a quick announcement that I didn't mention to you guys earlier But Charlie did pass away and I'm not really sure how he passed away, but I found him all curled up in a ball um, under that tree so yeah, we unfortunately lost a member of the animal family we got over here. But yeah, everybody else is going to get moved, and including Fitz, but Fitz is downstairs. So yeah, big luck back on here. We just got done. Um, I just got done empty it out. The fish cage. And we got Tala in here. No, Tay. What's up? All right, guys, so I pretty much cleared the room out. I am only taking the tanks I needed. I'm going to leave that tank here, and then I'm going to leave these dressers here. I really don't know, and my mirror is so dirty, but I really don't know what I'm going to be doing with furniture-wise, so that's why I didn't want to dedicate this video to, oh, like, look at the finished product and everything, because it's a work in progress. I don't really have everything I need right now. So we're going to be loading the the uh, vehicles up now and then we're gonna be going to my house i'll see you guys when we get there okay guys so lucky and Corner are building the table and lucky and kick out are over here but um i think it's really cute because like lucky i mean kick Cat, she's older so she knows how everything is like she's used to this hectic environment and this is the first time lucky's actually going through an environment like this that's somewhat not in his comfort zone so Lucky's in the closet in that bin just sitting there, but Kit Kat's keeping an eye on him. She's been with him this whole time. I tried bringing Kit Kat out where I was, but she always came back right back to Lucky. So um, it's going to take him a while to get, you know, acclimated to his new environment. But I'm just going to leave him in the closet for now with the door open because he is in like the end part of the whole apartment. So he can be comfortable in here. But yep, I'm working on the kitchen right now and then I'm going to set up the axolotl tank first. I like the cat. Aw, I did baby. It's a toy to play with. There's the boys. One kitty. Come here with the other kitty. Lucky. Where's Lucky? Where's Lucky? Over there. Lucky. Come here, boy. We're back again. Now we gotta fix the table. We're gonna put up the table. We got all the tanks in here. Got the bed temporarily. Got the tank in the bathroom. Requiring what he's doing. So we're about to try to fix all the tanks in here. The cats run around, they scared. Got Tay in the kitchen whipping it up. What's that? Never again. You want the coffee table right here? I mean, we're calling, we're about to put the table up. 
Okay, guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Just showed up, so now the real party What's started. Up? Hey, you're What's up? Party? I'll leave her social media down below, her YouTube down below, she don't post anymore. guys so we pretty much got most well we pretty much just cleaned up a little bit but we're almost on building the tv stand um everything else is just getting like sorted into place and i spilled water trying to change mishu's tank so i have a bunch of clothes because i don't have any towels here right now and then lucky had <laughs> lucky's hiding behind the toilet i don't know where kick head is but yeah, now what I have to do is just basically fix all the tanks. The hermit crabs tanks are good to go. These two tanks need to be clean and everything. Fits I put on top of the fridge for, <laughs> wait, I can't put that in there. I'm gonna be like, ah, animal abuse. Everything looks neutral, but I don't know if it's me, but nitrate looks a little flashy. You heard me? It's one lizard. No, that's about right. It it's one be. lizard. Is me? Yeah. I don't have one lizard no more. You're the lizard. I'm, I'm a lizard. Yeah. I see you in this new house. <laughs> Looking at Ashley. Mishu, don't bite me, dude. Mishu. Mish. Get your fat butt out. Mish, stop going back in the bag. <laughs> Yay. So this tank, I just fixed the dirt in and I'm just soaking the sides and stuff. Just so this stuff sticks better, the suction cups in there. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I just woke up. Last night, that's how it pretty much ended. I just cleaned the leopard geckos tanks and then I put them all back. And all the animals are in their enclosures right now besides Fitz. Fitz is still in the carrier. She's actually still asleep. I'm going to get her tank now at my mom's house. And yes, I did leave her in the carrier overnight because she wasn't gonna wake up anyway. So I'm going to my mom's house to get a couple last things. And then I'm going to get Fitz's tank. And then I'm probably going to run back to my old apartment to do laundry. Because this unit doesn't have a laundry unit. Well, it does. Well, I think it's Coinin too. My old apartment was free. So, we're in Acme. And I got for the pets. I had to get food for the pets. I got some chicken that I can make tonight. You know, we're practicing our social distancing and our corona rules. But um, I went to my mom's before we came here and I picked up a lot of stuff. Like she gave me all her old plates, just extra stuff I needed for the house, like pots and pans. And then she was like, you mind driving me to Acme? So I was like, why not? <laughs> now we're at Acme. Okay guys, so now I'm on my way home from the grocery store and back from seeing my mom. So we have a predicament. I was going to get Fitz's tank, but Fitz's tank does not fit in my car and I have no other way to get her to my apartment right now. And I just found out she woke up. <laughs> so now I literally brought her lighting 
I brought her lights and stuff over, but I don't have a tank. I mean, I have the smaller ones, but I'm not gonna put her in a smaller one. So I'm thinking about just plugging a lamp into the bathroom and then hanging it next to the sink so she can bask by the sink. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I don't have a tank for her right now. I don't know what the deal is, but I think we're, we're gonna use my mom's car to get Fitz's tank over here, but not, we can't do it until tomorrow. So Fitz is, I'm gonna try to do what I can do, but Fitz is, I can't get Fitz's tank in the car right now. I just got back home from shopping and everything. Lucky and Raekwon are unpack unpacking the dishes and stuff. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I got from the grocery store while they're doing that. Most of it's for the pets, but. So the first thing I got was collard greens, which are obviously for Fitz and Fitz is now awake. So I'm gonna make her bowl soon and I'll be showing you guys that. We have chicken thighs just for us to eat. Okay guys, so now that I don't have Fitz's tank, for now I just made her a temporary room. So this is Fitz's room for now, it's also the bathroom. But Fitz is in the tub and this was her basking area. I had the food wall out over there. I went out and I went to go clean the rest of the kitchen and the dishes and I came back in and Fitz literally pooped out of all, all this room, all this room in the bathroom, she poops right on the the blanket right there, she steps in it, and then she walks in her food bowl. So I had to clean her food bowl out, get her more food, and she has poop all over herself. Life of a bearded dragon. But she's very happy, I will say that. I haven't seen her moved around like this in a long time, so this is a good thing. But I'm about to give her a bath again, and I have the cats in here. I did clean that. Shout out to Fluker's carpet cleaner or super scrub it really gets the stains out of everything like literally that was all just covered in poop but i managed to clean it with that i also have to hook up the uvb lamp right next to this one but i just wanted to put the basking one out so when she eats she has something to go right under but once i hook up the uvb lamp she's going to go back right there i'm just going to be giving her a bath first <laughs> You can usually tell your axolotl has ammonia poisoning if they start to turn a reddish color and you can see their veins, especially if they're leucistic. Their gills will also start to curl up as you can see here and they will become lethargic. I was able to catch Mishu's poisoning early so there's a great chance that she will make it out. Okay so as you guys can see I'm trying to fix Mishu's tank because there was an ammonia spike in it. This happened before so I do have some confidence in myself that I can fix it. This is just a prime example of how my life really lives up to the whatever that can go wrong will go wrong theory. And yes, I did only have a cup and a bucket to work with at the kitchen sink. I didn't want to use the bathtub water because it was testing slightly different. But here I am frantically changing the water while Mishu sits in a pot next to me. Peep my dedication to my online classes though. Okay guys, so I just woke up from a nap because I spent a long time trying to fix Mishu's tank and I got tired. I'm looking at Mishu's tank right now and it's clear of like ammonia, nitrates, all that other stuff. So we should be good. 
So this is Mishu's tank. Everything is good. The water's great. Um, it's just Mishu now. Mishu's like in recovery. She was in the front earlier, and when I looked, her gills weren't as curled up as they were, so hopefully she's getting that better water in her gills and is able to breathe, I'm hoping, because I feel like every time I move, I lose a fish because something happens with the water. I'm not good with water, I guess. I feel like I'm better off not using water conditioner or anything, because every time I throw in water conditioner or beneficial bacteria, it like spikes something, so I literally just use fresh water this time and hope for the best. It was an emergency and I did what I could. So hopefully Mishu makes it out alive. I think she will though, she's a she's a pretty strong gal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this moving vlog and you don't know how happy I am to be here because I've waited long enough and it, I know I wouldn't have been here without these guys because I wouldn't have the motivation or anything. And I'm just, I don't know, I literally sat in this kitchen for like two hours earlier and just thought like, Wow, like I'm really here right now. Like I have all my pets again and I'm just ready to start fresh. So hopefully, you know, everything works out well. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.